The OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro just received its first Android 11 developer preview update, and I'm here to show you everything that's new. I know, I'm excited too, but don't get your hopes up because there's not a lot of new Oxygen OS exclusive features. Most of the new changes are the same new features found within the Android 11 Google Pixel builds, and I also don't recommend you flash it just yet. I'll explain why later on in the video. By the way, be sure to check out my second channel called How To Men In Espanol if you're interested in watching my videos in Spanish. The link is in the description. Either way, let's dive in. There's a new quick gesture within the settings called One-Handed Mode. It essentially enables you to pull down the entire screen by just swiping down on the gesture navigation. And then you can restore the screen by swiping up on the nav bar. It's pretty neat and very similar to the screen gesture found within One UI or iOS. But as of right now, I haven't been able to get it to work even when I enable it. The next exclusive change, even though it's on the OnePlus 7T open beta update, is that there are new clock styles for the ambient display. My personal favorite is Minimalism 2 and Text Clock. They just look so clean and modern. Within the OnePlus camera app, they finally support social share, which is a feature that makes it easy to quickly share your pictures or videos to social media from within the viewfinder. You just long press on the picture icon and then your socials and your most recently taken photo or video will appear with a mesmerizing animation. Finally, there's a new exclusive blue wallpaper for OnePlus. It looks wonderful and abstract. Now, before I move on, I just wanted to take a quick moment to give a shout out to our sponsor, Dbrand, and genuinely recommend their skins. Here's why you should buy it. Your phone looks basic, and you need to customize it. Why not use one of their teardown skins that lets you see the internals of your phone? That's pretty cool, right? Or maybe choose from their wide selection of textures that'll make your phone look clean and professional. If you prefer protection over looks, they also sell grip cases that you can still customize by slapping a custom skin to the back of it. And while you're at it, why not also skin your laptop or your game console, tablet, AirPods, power bank, jewel, etc. I'll include a link in the description if you're interested in checking them out. So aside from those changes discussed previously, those are all the new exclusive Oxygen OS changes that I could find within this developer preview one. I told you not to get your hopes up, but this is still a great way to try out all those new native Android 11 changes if you don't own a Google Pixel or a central phone. I'm not going to go into every little change found within Android 11 because I already did that two weeks ago. Click the eye in the top right corner if you'd like to get that full rundown, but I'll still go over some of the more prominent native Android 11 changes found within Oxygen OS. First off, you can't miss the new notification panel. The, the padding between each notification section has drastically increased. When you receive a text message, that notification will appear at the top in its own section called conversations, which will be away from all your other notifications. You can also set individual conversations as a priority to always be displayed at the top, be opened in a bubble, sort of like Facebook Messenger's chat heads, and the contacts icon can be in your status bar. You can also see your notification history in detail by scrolling down to the bottom of the notification shade and selecting history. From there, you can toggle on use notification history and now every time that you dismiss a notification, it will appear on this page. It's got the new screenshot animation, but it's not implemented as well. To see it, you just need to bring up the power menu and tap on the screenshot button. Do not disturb mode got a drastic new change. All the buttons have been moved around and there's a new menu called app exceptions, which allows you to choose specific apps to push notifications, even when do not disturb mode is enabled. Plus, you can allow certain text conversations to pass on through. Airplane mode no longer turns off Bluetooth if you have a Bluetooth device connected. It only turns it off when Bluetooth is not being used. Within the developer options, there's a new feature that shows you the display refresh right in the top left corner of the screen, sort of like the Fraps program on computers, so you know exactly when the display is at 60, 90, or 120 hertz. And lastly, Android 11 now finally supports wireless ADB and ethernet tethering through an adapter. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Unfortunately, it doesn't have every native Android 11 feature, including those from the new beta one version. This includes not having the same smart power menu, the new recent page, or app suggestions on the dock of the home screen. Again, if you want to know all of the Android 11 changes, click the eye in the top right corner, or I'll also include a link in the description to an Android police article that goes over every new Android 11 change. Now, there are various reasons why you shouldn't flash this new release just yet. The first reason is that all of your data, including your local pictures, videos, app data, etc., will be erased if you flash this new update. On top of that, there are a ton of bugs and basic things that don't work. For example, face unlock isn't available. The hot keyword for Google Assistant doesn't work. 
OnePlus claims that video calling doesn't work as well, but you can still use Google Duo. The dark mode is terrible. Some of the system screens don't even get darkened and they stay bright white. Some apps may not function properly and you'll just experience a ton of stability issues. If you don't believe me, it's clearly stated on the OnePlus forum page. Either way, that's a full rundown of Android 11 Developer Preview 1 on the OnePlus 8 Pro. I'll include a link in the description to OnePlus's forum page for those who still want to flash this update. I'm personally going to be reverting back to Android 10 because the cons do outweigh the pros here. But I'm excited to see what new exclusive features OnePlus comes up with in a future release. I'll be sure to update you guys, so if you're not subscribed already, you're going to want to get subscribed immediately. Also, don't forget to check out those beautiful D-Brand skins or grip cases. It's the ultimate way to customize your device and their prices are fairly low. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!